In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to take a look at one method to scroll the text of lyrics on the screen while the lyrics play either on a video clip or an audio clip. We'd like to show you a short example of this particular technique, and then we'll show you how we constructed it. The incy winds is In this case, I'm going to use an audio file. I've taken my spider.wave from the nursery rhyme and placed it on track number two, and then I've placed an in and out to control the length of the particular audio file. The next thing I want to do is I want to drag in my video. And so I'm going to take this video clip and put it on track number one. Now, if you have a video with embedded audio, you don't have to do this in two steps. All you do is drag your video clip with the music into track number one. Once that's done, we're going to take the lyrics and put them on a lower numbered track. In this case, it will be track number three for me. So I have my lyrics in a title. So the title is below the video. I'll double click on that and get into my title designer. Now you don't see the lyrics on the screen. Why? Well, because what I've done is when I drag my title in, I put it below the screen because I'm going to use keyframes to make it move up. I'm using keyframes because I can control the pace of the movement of the lines on the screen pretty precisely. There's two ways in which you can control the rhythm or speed at which the lyrics appear on the screen. The first is how you separate the particular lines in your title. I'm going to click anywhere in the title and do Control A to select all the characters. And then on the left side, I have a control under Font Paragraph. And this is my line spacing control. Right now it's set to zero. If I click on the down arrow, I can widen it by picking a higher number, or I can actually go below zero to tighten it up even more. So you can control this, and this will affect the way in which they appear on the screen. You can also simply put a hard carriage return in between the lines if you want. That's not quite as effective as using your controls over here. So that will control how fast the lyrics appear on the screen. Another way in which they are controlled is by, of course, your keyframes. So I set a keyframe in the position value at the very beginning of my title being on the screen. And then I move over, and I've already done that. I'm going to click on the right arrow. In this case, I moved over 14 seconds and 14 frames, and I set a position value. And at that position, I've got all my lyrics on the screen. Now, if you want to change it, and you'll probably have to adjust it several times to get the pacing satisfactory. All you have to do is take that second keyframe value, hold the left mouse button down, and you can drag it to the left or to the right just slightly, and that will change the pace at which the lines show up as the lyrics are being sung. I'm going to click on Cancel because I'm happy with the way it was. You most likely will want to click on OK. You may repeat the process. I'm not going to save what I did. And now if we play this from the beginning. The incy winds a spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and was the spider out. So now you can see a little bit about the pacing. It's not perfect, but it's good enough for an illustration. So this is what we have. Now the problem I have with this, as it sits, is that all the lyrics come on the screen and they go all the way to the top. I find that confusing. I just want the current line to appear on the screen and the rest of the screen to have the video. How do you do that? Well, the easy way to solve that issue is to take the same copy of your video. This could be your video with audio and drag it down and drop it on a higher numbered track. In effect, I'm sandwiching the, the text file, my title, between two copies. Now, if on, on this you also have audio, 
I would encourage you simply to mute the audio in this copy for simplicity's sake. So now I have this second copy of my video. I'm going to highlight it and then click on Designer above the timelines and choose Mask Designer. We're going to mask the second copy. The one I want is the rectangle. I'll click on that and it will put a rectangle on the screen. I want to change the shape of that rectangle. So I'm going to drag down. I've got a box that says Maintain Aspect Ratio. I'm going to turn that off. And then I'm going to take the handles and we're going to change the rectangle's shape. We're going to make it cover the width of the screen. And we'll, we'll make it all the way to the top. And then we'll decide where how much of the text we want on the screen before it disappears. I'll pick something about like this. And so now I've masked it. The text will come up and it will disappear, hiding behind the rectangle at the top. So it looks like it disappears into nothing. So I'll click on OK when I'm finished and happy with my mask. Go back to the beginning and we'll play again. The incy winds is by the climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and was the spider out. Out came the sun. Now in this case I probably would want to go back to my second copy. Go back to my mask designer and I'd like the text to disappear slightly uh, faster so I just will enlarge my mask and click on OK and now it won't be on the screen when I only want the current line to be the one people are focused on. So those are some of the adjustments you can make as you experiment with this method of taking lyrics and having them scroll up on the screen during either an audio clip or a video clip with audio.